Hello, today I want to talk about the two ways that you can utilize software when you're using a studio style virtual gala. Now, this came up a little bit last week when I was asked to speak, thanks to Renee Zhao of Donation Match. If you're trying to get auction items and stumped this year, be sure to check out Donation Match. But she had asked me to speak at the American Marketing Association San Diego chapter. They had a, a cause conference, so a webinar, and we were talking about virtual galas. So one of my clients came on, I came on, and we spent an hour answering a lot of questions about virtual galas. As part of that, I had pulled together a cheat sheet, which you're welcome to as well. It's on my website. It talks about, as I see it, the five styles of virtual galas right now, of which one of them, the second approach here, oh, there we go, the second approach is, in fact, a studio style virtual gala. It's the one um, of the two most common styles of virtual galas that you're going to see if you go online, for instance, on YouTube and search virtual galas. But that is not the only style of virtual galas. There's five different styles as I see it, and we're all trying to still come up together with some common terminology on all of this. But a studio-based gala can have two ways that you utilize the software. And there's been some confusion about that. And so for the purposes of just even being able to refer others to it, I wanted to shoot a video to kind of clear this up. To date, most of the virtual galas that you'll see that are in a studio style, let me back up. Studio style is when you are either going to a professional production facility and live streaming your gala from that facility, or you are having the production company come to you. That might be at your school, that might be at the nonprofit headquarters. They're setting it all up, the cameras, the mics, the, the technical equipment necessary to do the live stream, and they're shooting it from that place, that venue. That is what I'm calling a studio style gala. There's two ways that this generally works as we talk about the software. The traditional way, the typical way is that you are asked to watch the live stream on your largest device, a laptop for instance, maybe you've hooked it up to a TV, but then when it comes time for donating and bidding, you're asked to use a second device, your phone, and you are accessing the auction, the items, the donation buttons, on your phone. And most of the auction software that's out there right now is set up in that format. Because it, the, there's a delay involved with between the time that the guest sees the live stream from the studio to their house and the way, time that they're able to bid and get that back around, it doesn't work very well for live auction bidding. So because of that, it is managed in the studio by the host saying, hey, let me tell you about auction item number one and two. I'm going to tell you about these items one and two, item one and two, and now go bid on your phone. They're going to close at nine o'clock. Now, let me talk to you about items three and four. And they talk about items three and four, and they say, hey, go and bid on your phone. Those are gonna close at nine o'clock or 9.05 or 9.10, whatever the case might be. So that's the two system approach. But the other way that has just uh, really come out in the, in the last month, we'll say, month, eight weeks maybe, is this one screen solution approach. I've been calling it an integrated live stream. And there's about six, seven, half dozen com companies right now that are offering it. Uh, they have created, adapted their software so that everyone can watch the live stream and bid on those items or donate via one screen. So instead of encouraging people to go and use their phone, the on-site hosts, the person that is talking to the guests are, are going to say, hey, scroll down on your screen and place the bids or look to the right and place your bids or uh, look for the donate now button on the screen and place your donations on that. In those cases, there is no lag time. And so we are able to do active bidding in those cases. So instead of referring people to the phone and saying, hey, we're going to close those at nine o'clock, we're able to actively engage people in an auction. Now, this isn't new technology in general. In the commercial auction, sector. They have been doing this for a long time. It's called simulcast. And really, I think simulcast probably refers to having a, a live crowd in front of you at the same time that you're also taking bids from an, an, a virtual crowd from, from other people in other parts of the world. And they generally refer to that as a simulcast. But that has not been the case in the nonprofit sector. In the nonprofit auction sector, the companies are different for the most part. The software companies are different. And the auction software companies did not have a reason until COVID-19 to really engage in a new way of building out their software. But now we do, now they have. So we're starting to see these adjustments with these software companies as they roll out their new versions that enable a one screen solution. Generally, and you'll see this, uh, you'll see this on the, the uh, handout, which if you go to redappleauctions.com under free resources, it is the second 
tab down, virtual gala cheat sheet. Um, the third approach that I have here is a one screen solution. There's a little uh, a, a screenshot. So generally, if you're watching all of this on your screen, one quadrant is devoted to the live stream. The other quadrant is devoted to, say, slides that are supportive of the live auction item that's being sold, or maybe they are helping people track the number, uh, the level of the donations that we're in, like the $500 donations, the 250 donations. Another quadrant is devoted to the chat, where guests can type questions in or type comments in. And then the fourth quadrant is devoted to where you would actually place your bids or your donations. That's where you've got that active going. So the, the on-screen host, the auctioneer or whomever is, is managing the auction and the donations is looking at that while they're in their studio. Again, studio could be a number of different places, but as they're watching a monitor, they're able to see those bids come in and engage with the audience doing actual live bidding right then or acknowledging donors right then. No delay, it's immediate. And so for those people that are interested, if that sounds like something you want to do, I've got my first uh, gala coming up in October. I think that's the first one uh, that will be utilizing a, a, will they be utilizing? Oh no, they're not using a studio approach. They're just gonna have, so the other way to do that is with a one screen solution is to just everybody in their own home. But I think, are they, I think they're everybody in their home. So you could do it in a studio environment. Most of the time I see those, they are done in a studio environment. They're bringing a few people together and managing it that way. Not always, but that's generally how it is. So if you are looking for other information on virtual galas, I kind of consider this, we'll say, maybe this is the high school or the associates, we'll say degree in virtual galas. And if you're looking for more of an MBA version of what's out there with virtual galas, I'm gonna point you to a different resource, also free, also under the free resources tab at redappleauctions.com. And that's the COVID-19, it starts with COVID-19, I don't remember what I call it, but it's a series of four conversations that I've led thus far, one in March, one in April, one in uh, May, and one in June, whereby I was documenting the styles of virtual galas as they were rolling out and then offering some commentary on them. And you'll also be able to take advantage of the pre-show, uh, the pre-class um, uh, homework videos, uh, whereby I went in and I took clips to, so that you can understand what style of gala is out there, what it looks like actually in a video, because you can see that in the pre-class homework that I was calling it. So you can check that out online again under free resources. I'm Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. As always, good luck to you in your gala.